Good morning. I wanted to spend a few minutes and show different methods to upload files to Autodesk Docs. So Autodesk Docs, that's within the Autodesk Construction Cloud small portion, mainly used for, for collaboration for Civil 3D. So it's where those files live for the collaboration for Civil 3D, that file, you know, all your extra that's your data references. Anything that talks to a Civil 3D file is stored within Autodesk Docs. So what we're going to look at today is two different ways to upload. So one utilizes the, the desktop connector, one does not. We're going to talk about what the difference between the two is and give you an idea which one might be better and some specific scenarios and whatnot. So let's bounce in, let's bounce out of PowerPoint here and let's, uh, let's upload some files. So first method, let's use the upload, option two here, upload via browser. So browser when i've seen any internet um you know any internet platform i use chrome i've always liked to use chrome but uh because it, it had a larger caching um in the past but i've heard that edge is just as competitive with it so we're going to go to this uploaded files folder so this is the autodesk construction cloud acc here and you can see this is docs and this is my project right here so i'm within the solutions experience project and i'm with the docs platform within that project. So let's go ahead and upload some files. So we're gonna go, go into this folder here and you can do drag and drop slot like OneDrive where you can go navigate, upload specific files. So first thing is that we're gonna take a look at here is we're gonna upload some files. So one thing you'll notice is that I have a folder titled folder upload and you can't upload a folder via the browser. And we're gonna, we're gonna show that here. So Select files to upload. We're gonna say upload right here. And now we're just gonna go into our downloads and, oh, here we go. Go into our downloads here. And let's grab any civil 3D file. So let's go into our folder upload right here folder. And we'll just grab, let's grab this Topcon building DWD file. Say open. And then we can see it's uploading. The uploading process is pending 1.2 meg. So then if we refresh this here, let's give it a second. We can see that this file is still spinning a little bit. It's still processing it, but it is eventually going to upload. And if you go into your local drive, you'll see it there eventually too. So go right here and let's just open up a new window here. And this PC, we're going to go to Autodesk Docs, that connected drive. Upcon Solutions Incorporated, and then that Project Solutions Experience, Project Files, Civil, and we're going to go to Uploaded Files. It might be there, it might not. We'll see. Oh, looks like it has made it there. Sometimes you need to go down here, and I move my, I move my mug out of the way. Got to go here, and then go to Help, and then go to Check for Drives to refresh things. So, one method to upload things. So, you just up push it up to the cloud via the browser. Uh, the one thing about this is this is a file only. So it has to be a singular file, no folders. You can't upload a folder like this. So, all right, so let's go into method two. So method two is that drag and drop via the desktop connector. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna have our downloads open on one side right here and our uploaded files on the right side. So. This is my local, this PC or this, that's what it's looking at in my downloads folder. And then this is the constructed, the construction cloud location, project files, civil uploaded files. So let's go ahead and let's grab that same file and let's upload it again. So let's go do this. And then um, actually let's grab a file with a different name just so we, so we trigger something different. All right, so you can see down the bottom right, we're seeing Autodesk Docs, and if we open up the desktop connector here, there'll be a pending action that's traveling through it as this is uploading. So you can see right there, now that file is being transferred through the desktop connector and now it is being pushed up to the cloud. So you can see that test import has now been uploaded. So, and if we go up to the construction cloud location via the browser, we can see a test import has now been uploaded. All right. One other thing you can do is you can bring folders up. So if we bring, let's grab this folder upload and we're gonna drag it from left to right. Okay, let's not rename it. 
and we're going to let that process. So there we go. Now we have our folder upload and you can see that we had an XML travel with it as well. So you can, if we go in here, this is a, that same DWG file we originally uploaded. It's got an RCM file from a, a Recap Mesh model. And then there's an XML service definition within that civil file. So let's see if there's any pending actions. We have a pending action in the desktop connector. That's running, so it's uploading those files. Now we're still processing. If we go to the construction cloud location, let's go ahead here and refresh. And then we can see in our folder upload, we have our XMLs made it, but nothing else has made the trip yet. So let's go down here and then let's see if there's any other pending actions. The pending actions are still running. Let's make sure none have gone red. So green means it's still processing. Red means you have some sort of error with that upload. And if we give this a second here and just let this process, eventually, hopefully these all, these all get up there. <coughs> so pending actions just closed. Ignore pending actions, that green dot is now closed there. Let's go ahead and refresh the construction cloud. And let's see what we have here. So we have our Topcon building DWG, our RCM file right here, and our XML file that was the, that, that is our service definition that went up through the desktop connector as well. So a couple different ways to upload files. Again, one way, go through the browser right here, upload files, bring them in, that's singular files. And then the other method is through the desktop connector, drag and drop, and that option allows you to bring folders up. So hopefully you find this helpful. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your week.